guys and welcome back to my channel so I have a video here for you that's all about removing facial hair so the step one you should really cleanse your face before you put anything on your face so what I am using is my Ovase face wash which is what I got from my dermatologist but of course you can use whatever you use whatever's best for you So make sure after you finish cleansing your face with the soap or facial wash or whatever you use, you wash everything off the best you can. You don't want to leave any traces of soap or residue or anything. And then you want to grab a towel and pat your face dry. You want to make it as dry as you can. So the next step is to get your hair removal and what I'm using is a Nair hair removal, removal precision face and upper lip kit. It has long lasting results and the first thing you want to put on is the precision hair removal cream kind of thing and I put that on my upper lip. Uh, you want to gently squeeze the tube to get the cream out. Uh, you want to use the applicator to spread it out on your upper lip and then you want to spread a thick layer, a thick even layer to coat all the hair. I also put it on my unibrow area in between my two eyebrows, I'm like right above my nose. And then sometimes I will put it on, on my brow bone if I think it's necessary, but today I did not feel so. Now you're supposed to leave the cream on for 5 minutes and then check a small area but I leave it on for about 10 minutes just because that's how long it takes my hair to be removed. Now you want to gently wipe off the cream and hair with a damp washcloth you don't want to rub. Every time I wipe a area I rinse it under the sink water just to be on the safe side so I don't rub some more cream on my face maybe in areas that I didn't need it or just so I don't get an irritation from it After all the cream has been washed off, you want to pat dry your face to make sure that it is dry and then you want to apply the rebalancing moisturizer. I personally use my finger to rub it on as I just find that easier. You can use the precision tip if you would like but I just use my finger and then just rub it in the areas that you had the cream. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope this was helpful in some kind of way and please subscribe if you haven't already. But until next time guys, bye.